Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. So this is, uh, I got a story for you. We have a cane run, because I was testing stuff to play on the NLSS while Isaac was still open. I used my controller, accidentally started a cane run. We don't need to do a cane run, we just did a cane run. Just seeing who needs what. Man, Isaac Delirium, we can save that for a long time. Forgotten is Mega Satan and a Hush, we can save that, Apollyon's done. The time has come, you know? We gotta do some more Keeper runs. I'm excited for the opportunity to do so. Let's see. What have we learned over the past few episodes? Well, if we could just, you know, stay cool for a little while here. Dark Bomb is not helpful. Well, no, Dark Bomb is literally, it can't do anything. It is. It has the ability to turn hearts into flies, except the hearts that it would pick up are already going to be flies by the time it picks them up. But anyway, recently we've been playing Isaac a little bit more like a Zen master, you know? Just recognizing, hey, whatever's going to happen on the run is going to happen. We have uh, some ability to influence what happens, and if we play truly outstanding, we could probably turn just about any set of parameters into a potential victory. What we got to do is be in control of the only thing we are consciously in control of, and that's our mindset, our attitude, our demeanor. And then, you know, I would love to say our skill, but I don't really have access to that. <laughs> some days I play Isaac well, and some days I play Isaac very badly, and uh, I don't always know what separates the two. We're pretty lucky. Sometimes Ragman, once he gets into the cycle of just constantly creating skulls, you're in the clear, dude. Because he just, like, cycles that animation over and over. Life is but a dream. Box of stuff could be worse. Well, we shouldn't have taken two of spades in theory. Possibly in practice as well. Or sorry, we shouldn't have taken the key prior to taking two of spades. So, what should we do? I'm going to put a bomb there. Two reasons. One is, you know, it could find something. Unlikely, but it could. The other one was that uh, it's going to make it faster to come through that way. When we walk back, see what we got in here. You shouldn't be taking the pills, just in case you get... I mean, amnesia is irrelevant. It's more like just in case you get... Uh, a health downgrade. Sorry, I was seeing if... When we had a golden bomb, if we used bombs or key, if that gave us a golden key instead, in which case we would have definitely gone to the shop. But anyway... Here we are. Very important floor, which is why I'm extremely excited to find that there is, uh... You son of a gun. I am extremely excited to find, uh, that Curse of the Blind is on our second floor in a row. Just kidding, not excited. Actually, highly upset. Oh, never mind, I'm excited! So the game may have misinterpreted what I was saying. So, the reason, by the way, that I played the Blood Bank is because... And, by the way, Child's Heart? Low-key might actually be great at giving us extra flies, but, um... I received a tweet from an esteemed viewer, and it said, NL, you don't have to be so paranoid about the, uh, arcade. The blood bank... Ugh. 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 The blood bank will always pay out with something. It might not be a coin. The IV bag, you're right on. Sometimes the IV bag will pay out zero or one as keeper, but the blood bank is not risk-free. I'm not trying to put this on them, but almost risk-free. Now that was the risk. We got hit by the risk. Sometimes you would like to get the blood bag so your key, your speed could go up. Living on the Ritz. Okay, it doesn't work at all. I apologize for that. Um, little horn. Not so bad. Please don't extinguish the fire. Thank you. Good, good, good. So exploit his pathfinding. Get him to walk into the fire, please. Okay, or we could blow it up ourselves accidentally. Okay, or that one, that seemed a little bit more on purpose, but I assure you it wasn't. Okay, that one, I didn't kick it and it went straight to the fire, so joke's on me. Thank you. Okay, easy money. So we will get a deal with the devil, and I will take it. I should not. But I'm gonna. It's Guppy's tail. Could be worse. Please be HP. It was not HP. Why take it? I, I'm just leveling with you. This run is 
highly cursed. I thought, you know, throw caution to the wind. Maybe you'll get something good on the deal with the devil and you can get yourself out of this nightmare. Or alternatively, you know, why not meet the run halfway and just be like, okay, you can't curse me. I'm going to curse myself. Either way, I'm very happy with the pentagram. I would rather a pentagram not Guppy's tail, but, you know, it is what it is. So we'll just try to live long enough to get uh, an HP upgrade. We don't have Curse of the Blind anymore. And all things considered, if we were any other character but the Keeper, we would be like, this run's amazing. So let's just say that for right now we're a victim of circumstance. You know, that would make me feel a whole lot better about the situation. We're just a victim of circumstance. If we'd kept going on that cane run and gotten the same parameters, we'd be as happy as a clam right now. I have a theory for why that idiom actually makes sense. Clams are not happy, I think. You know, I don't know if they possess the ability to feel happiness. And that's not me trying to, you know, be negative towards clams or call them stupid. But, you know, they're bivalves. I don't remember bivalve anatomy, although I assume at some point I probably had to take a class in it to get my degree. Definitely we dissected some clams and some cockles alive alive oh. Let me get... Now, you know what? Let's crack this. If you're going through heck, keep going. Not magic mush, like I would have preferred, but... You know, I don't know if they have a brain. Is a brain required for happiness? I don't know. My cat seems to be happy when it's misbehaving. Uh, I kicked Ruka out of my room because he was starting to bite stuff on my desk, and I said, get out of here. Then I heard a clatter in the kitchen. Kate had left uh, the remnants of her lunch on the counter. The cat had stolen the rice out of the rice bowl and was eating it off the ground. I think I got to it, you know, before it was able to ingest any rice. I don't know if rice is harmful to cats. This is the life... I mean, it it's the life of, I'm sure... You're laughing right now if you're like a parent. You're like, you know, you think that's like a real misbehavior? Wait until you have a, a human child with like a, a great brain causing you problems. And you're probably right, but this cat is still very mischievous. Also, cat, you're an obligate carnivore? Like, why are you trying to make me look bad? By eating vegetables? Well, grains? I mean, it is a vegetable, kind of. Grows in the ground, at least difference from taxonomical distinction and uh, culinary distinction. Please. So this run, surprisingly, and I shouldn't even say this because it's inviting this evil into my life, but this run is pretty okay right now. You know, it definitely we're missing a couple of things that I would love to, to take it to a a much more survivable level. In particular, I've been asking for this for a while, a speed upgrade would be a really, really nice thing for us to pick up. Short of a speed upgrade. We'd love DPS. If that DPS comes in the form of a uh, rate of fire, I think it's even better than if it came in the form of damage. There you go, permanently. Compromise to a permanent end. help yeah this is bad starting to get bad you see that weird thing what's going on with that texture in the center of the ground <laughs> I think I've got to do like a driver reinstall or something it's what happened against uh, super greed as well very pretty minor but simultaneously I'm like what the heck is going on there I don't think that's an ARG Okay, these guys are going to become annoying enemies. Thank you. We made it so they didn't become annoying enemies. HP up, please. Okay. Is this... It is an XL floor, of course. Okay, I would like to see one item room then. I'm kind of surprised that we're still cruising along here. You know what I would love to see more than an HP upgrade? Respawn ability. Although, what respawn ability would allow us to stay as the keeper? Good question. Oh, okay. Apparently, I shot that bomb backwards towards myself, so I don't know if Nicholas, uh, you know, if they're in the interest of taking an 11th grade physics class. That's mostly just a mean-spirited joke. Um, clearly, 
the bomb collider was instantiated after my shot had passed it, and as a result, the shot pushed it backwards, but still, not working as intended. Hot bombs, check it and see. It's our first good item room on floor three. Mm, but baby, we still got a grin, cause I'm playing Isaac, playing Isaac. Ah, another I'm excited pill. I'm gonna just abstain from that for the present moment because I have a working frontal lobe, at least temporarily. Very valuable room. If we die after this room, or after this corridor, having gotten almost nothing of value, that's one thing. But we at least have to see what they got on offer. I'll tell you, Forever Alone, you know, is not necessarily a number one pickup for us right now, but I'm not in any position to be making enemies, so... Uh, I will blow you up and hopefully get some money. I will pick up the Steam sale. I don't... I understand the battery charge, but I don't think it's worth going for. Uh, I am going to use some money instead, because we might need bombs to survive. I'm not going to pay seven cents for a free item when I could pay seven cents for any item. Okay, Jar of Flies, tempting. I know we're putting a lot of money into this. I, I certainly think we're in the right to do so. There's, you know, it's a bit of a tough situation here. I would really also like to be able to get uh, Trinket Smelter. Because I actually think that the flies from Child's Heart are pretty great. You son of a... I swear to God. All right. Spawned it on the other side of the map. Probably working as intended, but trollish nonetheless. Insubordinate and trollish. Okay, this is a big moment for us. If we make it through the boss, there's a pretty likely, I don't know, maybe like a 1 in 3 chance we get an HP upgrade from this first boss, so... I'm gonna even buy the card to see if we can get something... I'm going to blow up this, and it is going to... Okay, it gave me a trinket that was well worth the investment. Although a minus two rate of fire is not as meaningful right now as it would be if we had been a little bit closer to a valuable level, but... Nope, I will die. Okay. It's hard for me to not be a little bit upset about that one. Like, all I've ever wanted is uh, a keeper run. And we've had a couple that came close, I'll admit. But... Well, mostly all I've ever wanted was a, a keeper run where we got speed or damage early. We didn't really accomplish that there, but I'm doing my best. I'm keeping the blood pressure low. I think it only benefits us to keep the blood pressure low. I have no idea. Uh, like, I've never sought occasion in my life to compare, you know, is it worth taking the dunce cap as the keeper? consider myself highly blessed to have never had that uh, possible interaction cross my lips, but here we are. And read my lips. I'm having fun. So what's our game plan? It's pretty much the same game plan as always. You know what we could have done? Uh, we could have not taken the deal with the devil. But I will dispute until the ends of the earth that the deal with the devil is what screwed us there. Admittedly, if we hadn't taken it, you know, we wouldn't have been in a position where one hit could kill us. Simultaneously, you know, we had so many other things going sort of wrong there. Very little actually working for us and going potentially right. So I'm liking Dunce Cap, you know why? It's gonna sound a little ridiculous, perhaps. I'm liking Dunce Cap because we have basically spectral tears as a result. I'm not gonna open the golden chest. I did think about it, but it was a sunk cost fallacy sort of situation. I would have to say at the present moment, this might be the worst boss for us to fight. Sometimes we might be in a situation where we're like, you know what, we got such a good damage upgrade from our first item room. Give me that ability to fly. I have chosen to no longer consider the wooden nickel to be necessary. This is not one such situation. This is a situation where I feel very, very desperate. Hold on, I have five pings on Discord, which I'm assuming are Team Unity talking about how Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is hemorrhaging players, but let me check. 
You never know if it could be dicey. Yeah, yeah, okay. It is Team Unity related. Here we go. Um, I mean, there's coins back there. I don't really care. This is the floor where it matters. We want the deal with the devil. We don't really uh, want the deal with the devil unless it somehow ends up being truly amazing. Like, the dream scenario is one up, and then you get brimstone or mom's knife in the deal with the devil. So if you take it, you die, respawn, and you're good to go. Or relatively good to go, at least. I am going to try to get blood bank. I'm realizing, like, more and more, I actually think that blood bank is, like, the key to all this. If we can get that early... If we can get that early HP upgrade... Who knows what happens? You know the world's our burrito. I would really like you to pay out. Please. I beg you. A bomb is fine. Don't take the judgment yet. You can do you can do better. Just be cool for now. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Great work. All right. It's all about kiting the enemies, get them to go where you want them to go. It's like playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies Edition. Enemies walk in a reasonably straight line towards you. Unless you throw a homunculus, you'll have to excuse me. I've only played one match. I don't really understand the finer grain details. I understand it's a very popular game mode. I missed it. I was too busy when the mode was at peak popularity playing Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Which is why I know all the lyrics to One Way or Another by Blondie, but know nothing about Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, you are an interesting character and case here, but I will blow you up. It's too scary right now. Yes. That was an instant snap keep. That's what we call it in the professional magic community. A snap keep. Chocolate milk? Not even close to a game winner, but not even close to an item that we want to mess about with like I'm so happy to have charge shots it doesn't really matter as long as we're safe I'll take as long as it takes to charge him let's get this deal with the devil uh, my one huge weakness with uh, chocolate milk is I never remember oh my god that worked out so well I never remember what items have like a unique synergy with chocolate milk and are like instant pickups with this item when they wouldn't be otherwise so we don't take that yet. We could take a one heart deal if we get a good one. I would say we got a reasonably good one. And we actually have a run cooking up here. So I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got one more game plan for the rest of this. Where did these... Oh, the flies came from Child's Heart, of course. So here's the game plan. 18 minutes into this run. This is one we really got to you know stay up on if we're going to have a good chance to make it here. Um, we're going to... See if we get a coin. We got a coin. Having got a coin, we can at least kickstart this. We got one coin hanging back. We still want the speed upgrade. Obviously, the HP is more or less irrelevant, but we still want the HP upgrade. Okay, I am I was wrong. It paid out with nothing. I didn't think it could. I checked behind the behind the payout, like or where I thought the payout could be behind. It wasn't there. Fair enough. We've learned our lesson. I don't blame you. Sarah, I believe you were lied to by the wiki. I want you to know the wiki is a charlatan. It's a great source for suspect information and Johnson & Johnson related at video advertisements that autoplay 30 seconds into your trip to the website. Some of the articles, I'm not 100% convinced. Now, you might say NL isn't a little bit hypocritical to besmirch an internet content mill for... Um, Making money on advertising revenue? I don't understand. Hypocritical how? I don't understand. I have no self-awareness. Hypocritical how? I was mostly making a joke. Having used the wiki in these videos many, many times, I respect their hard work. I'm just saying. Surely the problem is the wiki and not me. <laughs> I'm the streamer. I'm infallible. Anyway, dude, the Zen Mastery still kicking it up. This run has a very common problem with our keeper runs, you know, the big one is certainly 
a lack of... Well, the big one is actually a lack of damage. But a lack of speed really compounds whatever issues we got going on. We have enough damage now. The 70 rate of fire scares the crap out of me, and I don't know how many runs we've had as the Keeper where the game just endlessly gives us bomb synergy after bomb synergy. The only other, like, real problem I could think of is the fact that we have, a uh, Maybe, like, unnecessary... Oh, thank you for that luck upgrade. That could mean a lot, actually. The whiffs. The whiffs! Okay, I've, I've abandoned my coin. I wish that I hadn't. If we die here, it's because we missed earlier. We're free. Forget the deal with the devil chance. I, I know I was saying, well, we got that deal with the devil uh, precedent, but that could be good. The only thing is, you can only take one hard deals with the devil, and you can only take them. Well, I hate this. He's done it. He almost did it. You can only take one hard deals with the devil, and you can only take them when you have HP that's come for you from a different area. This is a bad boss to fight with low speed. So I'm just playing it as, as simple as I can. You know, hitting him with one charge, then holding the shot just in case he shoots some bombs at me. You know, just in case he uh, shoots a firebomb at me, just in case he shoots those aerial balls at me. Please no comments about my aerial balls. Okay, first fight, easy money. We did get an HP upgrade, we should not take it. Hard man to hit. Very bad bomb. Come on, you're gonna sneak one in there. There we go. He's so non-tanky, but still highly annoying when you can't get hit. Okay, forget the deal with the devil. Oh my word, thank you for the speed upgrade. Okay, we will still take this. Um, well, I guess we shouldn't have taken it. We could have. I don't know what we could have done with our existing HP, but either way, um, the speed upgrade has us now sitting at like an acceptable level. So the next step beyond that is uh, getting more. I wish I had something better to say, but like, <laughs> I really am like you know 1.15 speed. Still not really. Uh, anything to write home about spiders are doing good work thanks to the you know sticky bombs but please be something decent that's a tough one because I think that's a pretty great space bar item I think it would destroy bosses but uh, we're waiting on something a little bit more advantageous but I don't know I'm, I'm proud of us for staying alive here staying in this and and here we are doing everything we can holding on to what we have I think I am a superman. I would say, at the end of the day, this was worth a bomb. We don't want the trinket. I'm happy with my, the flies that show up thanks to Child's Heart. Although, now, wait. No, 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 this is good. Child's Heart does make more hearts show up, right? It's. I was running it through in my head, and I was like, but the flies would already be, or the hearts would already be flies anyway. But I don't think that's the lens I should be examining it through. While that's true... But I don't think it holds here, if you know what I mean. I don't think it's cogent. I think it's a lo logical fallacy. Whoop. I still, you know, you gotta look at this run, and, and as of right now, I say this is like a... Uh, maybe like a 10% chance of a win. When I say 10%, by the way, I want you to... I want you to be uh, excited. Because 10% is reasonable enough to get your adrenaline pumping a little bit. You know, you ever go to like a sports game or a con... I guess they probably don't do it at concerts. But, um, you know, there's a 50-50 raffle that happens. It's like they read out the ticket and they go, oh, The winning numbers are 1034512. And then you look at your ticket and they all start like 103. And you're like, oh... Five, four, seven, nine, you know, like not even close, although that isn't really how it works. But anyway, you know, that's like a one in 10,000 chance. 
not based on ticket number please don't be pedantic i'm just saying you know we go to the canucks games sometimes and they're like the 50 50 is for 100 bucks which means they sold like three tickets and then the number is like a string of seven characters so that's not how it works okay um but then you still get excited because you go, ooh. So you should be excited about this 10% chance. Although, to be fair, if you win this, it's not like you're getting any, like, fiduciary recompense out of it. Or as a normal person would say it, money. Ooh, lucky shot. Bad. Very bad, because it screwed up my deal with the devil chance, too, but... Oh, it hit him, but it didn't kill him. Oh, my word, please. Can I just level with you? I, I can't necessarily be incredibly nice to Dunscap. What I will say about Dunscap, oh, Lord, is that... Uh, I have not noticed it recently, except in a positive way, which to me would seem to indicate that Dunn's Cap has been a good pickup for us. Now, if that's the case, thank you. If that's the case, Dunn's Cap, please thank Chocolate Milk, which is doing a lot of work and making you look as good as possible. This is... It's the worst of both worlds, right? Because you get excited when you come into the item room and then you do the math and you're like, oh, no enemy. Uh, there might be one enemy in the entire, you know, Necronomicon that could kill me in one hit. The two-heart champion. The mythical two-heart champion that's ended a couple of streaks. On the Depths one, I don't think we can afford to take more options. Um, free deals with the devil out of Mr. Meesix. I could see that being a genuine win condition. Instead, I'm going to take Mama Mega. Just to make the rest of our floor as easy as possible. I would be remiss if I didn't mention I'm also excited about the potentially, you know, valuable cards that we have here. Although those have proven to be essentially worthless so far. Uh, the chest bounced, but it didn't blow up. So, you'll excuse me if I say, what the heck? Tammy's head. Now you got me thinking. Coins, really, really nice, but I mean, it's Tammy's head. How many runs has Gish shown up where we've been the keeper? There's a stat for you. The answer is uh, more than I would like, although I'm always happy to have a little extra help on the frontier, I suppose. Should be like two hits, depending on the charge level and how many of the shots hit. Okay, lucky me. It's dangerous because we got to stand on the same angle as these guys. Dude, I don't know. I'm kind of of the opinion right now. I, I know that the wooden nickel is so important. Let me take one look at this. That's real tempting, man. I think I... It's a death sentence to do it, but... Or is it, you know? Maybe being able to kill enemies... As soon as we walk into a room, means that we're not going to need nearly as many coins. Maybe that's what it comes down to. Now, against bosses, this should still be pretty tough for now. But, I think... Rest assured, you do not need to switch from Wooden Nickel to win as the Keeper. In fact, it's probably deleterious for you to do so. But I think if your run is looking basically screwed and I'm starting to I, I don't want to say that this run is doomed I gave it that 10% chance but I think the way you know I think we make big plays I guess it's like if it already looks like you're gonna lose the municipal election you might as well say some you know brazen things in the press I suppose and undermine the fabric of democracy and then who knows what could happen by the way America that wasn't about you Vancouver's going through its own municipal election right now Trying to figure out where my municipal, political, lyrical alliances are. Or allegiances lie, I should say. We gotta go to the item room, of course. Um, it's hard. 
Because there's like a hundred people running for city council. You get to vote for up to ten. And there's only two types of platforms right now. One of the platforms is please make housing more affordable. Literally 95% of people that are running have that as part of their platform. Which is highly sensible. Thank you, Goathead. Um, it's incredibly expensive to live here. But to buy land here is unbelievable. Or to buy a house, I should say. Even without owning the land itself. Um, which does happen here. But either way. The other one, and this is roughly 10% of city councilors. Uh, city council nominees, I should say. Have the, a platform of everything is fine, but there's too many bike lanes. So I've already eliminated, you know, roughly 10 of the people that are running. But then I gotta figure out from amongst the remaining 90 who have almost exactly the same platform written down. We need to build a Vancouver that people can afford to live in. I know. That's obvious, okay? I understand you only got like a hundred and, well, you got, I don't know. Maybe 2,000 characters to make your case on the City of Vancouver website, but you gotta give me something a little bit more compelling than that. Reroll my whole run. I, I can do it. Copy? No. Nope. This is a weird one, man. Um, I think we're we're basically screwed. It's not an XL floor. Yeah. Rune bag is so helpful. If we can hold an Alge's rune, really anything could happen. So I'm I'm no longer as like despondent as I was mere moments ago. And I think I mean we're not gonna get an HP upgrade from this boss because it's mom but we realistically you know we're, we're gonna have a chance to get a deal with the devil because of Goathead or we're gonna have a guarantee rather not really what I'm looking for does this give you uh, flies when you yeah it shouldn't but you know this you know you're in tough on a greed run when you're asking things like that 17 and a half minutes in don't open that. Thank you for sparing me from the key sacrifice. Okay, that's... You know, who needs the tick? Take off 50% of mom's HP immediately. Most important thing, don't do exactly what you did there. What I was going to say is don't forget to move. Ironically, as I was saying it, I kind of forgot to move. No joke. Stay strong. Keep moving. Don't let the anxiety hit you just yet. Good damage. Charge up a shot, maybe. Very, very strong play. You might as well take the negative. <laughs> oh, okay, we will not take a theme. I was a microsecond away from taking a Thame, and the flies and the damage that it could generate could be very useful. But, if we got hit once, we would die anyway, so now that I think about it for more than a quarter of a second, I'm like, a Thame is a very bad choice. And a very bad choice is he. Okay. What song was that? No, I don't, I don't sing real songs anymore, I just say things musically. I'm still digging Tammy's head, and I, if I'm being 100% with you, I don't, hey, ref, hey, Ed, I didn't hear no bell. We're still in it. Hermit Burkano. Okay, you know what we do is we grab this, and we hermit out, and hope that it, yeah, okay. Presumably, it couldn't have taken us any further away from the boss, so it must have taken us closer. My geography is not what it used to be, but believe that essentially has to be true thank you thank you flies so again guaranteed deal with the devil I actually at this point I'm at a little bit of a loss for what would save us just by itself I don't know if there is anything that would save us just by itself that doesn't mean we can't be saved Definitely do not dodge in front of those guys ever again. Um, but with one heart, 
I don't know what kind of deal we'd... You fool. I don't know what kind of deal we'd have to look at, you know? Yep. <laughs> I tried. Dude, I'm coming back with another keeper run. I'm feeling excited. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I'm really working on it. I promise you that. If you did, click the like button. It helps with a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Follow me on Twitch to be notified of all that juicy live content you might be missing. Twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!